Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. So today's video is probably going to be kind of short, but I did really want to do this process on camera and share it with you. So today I'm going to be putting my first plant in LECA. I have never played around with LECA before. This is going to be very experimental. But as I had mentioned in my last video, a lot of you were recommending that I put my Thai Constellation Monstera in LECA because it keeps getting root rot. I honestly don't feel like I have that much to lose at this point because it's just doing so poorly anyways. Um, I do have it in sphagnum moss right now, but yes, yeah, so I'll show you everything and we're going to do everything together. Um, I just wanted to make a quick intro, but let's just jump into throwing this guy in Lekka. Okay, so I'm going to show you all of the supplies that I will be using. This is obviously like a beginner's take on everything. I'm not going full into like pHing the water and everything like that. Um, so I will show you. So this is my Thai constellation right now in sphagnum moss. Um, can't really tell what's going on with the root situation now, but we shall find out. Um, but I am actually going to be using the same container for the LECA because it has lots of holes, so it should be able to, you know, uptake the water. So I will have the LECA in here, and then this is going to be my little vessel that I fill with water, and the plant is going to go inside, and it'll be full, it'll be full up to... A, about a third of um, the amount of LECA. Obviously I'm brand new to this so I'm not the best person to be explaining how this works but basically LECA which is this um, which is clay um, or you can do it with different things like perlite etc but the idea is that these are very porous so they suck the water up from the bottom and supply to the roots of your plant um, but it's still like a very airy medium so the roots are able to go through and also get their water and nutrients that you put in the water and thrive that way supposedly that is my <laughs> explanation of it this is just the beginning of my leka journey so yes we are just along for the ride <laughs> together um, and i will share knowledge with you as i acquire it but right now my knowledge on this topic is um, minimal so yeah, that's the LECA that I got. I just picked this up at a my local garden center. Um, this is $12.99. It is this brand, Brock, Brockitoni. I don't know. I don't know what that is from Germany. It says 100% expanded clay. And then the only other thing I'm going to be using is water and I'm going to mix in some Super Thrive, which I have shared about before on my channel. I love this stuff. I use it for all of my house plants already. I saw a lot of people using this when they first transferred plants to LECA because it kind of reduces the shock. So we are going to put some of that in the water. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, this is in a strainer because I'm gonna take this outside and wash it. You always wanna rinse your LECA first because there can be clay dust. Um, that can clog up your plumbing, so it's best to do it outside. So I'm gonna go uh, rinse it now. going to start removing the sphagnum moss from the roots. It needs to be bare root. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, well that was easy since this plant has like no roots anymore. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, I'm going to rinse these roots under water just to make sure I have them as clean as possible. I don't know why I'm like talking to you sideways. I can just pick up the camera. So 
so some parts of the root like this part right here where it's dark looks like it's a section of rot uh, so i might cut that off i feel like i'm just cutting all the roots of this poor plant off but what do you do right Okay, so I'm just gonna pot it up in the LECA now. Pretty straightforward. Okay, it is all potted up in the LECA. It looks kind of cute. Look at her. So now all I have to do is mix my Super Thrive water and put the water in the pot and then put the plant in and that's it. If you're not familiar with Super Thrive, it is basically just a vitamin supplement for plants. It is awesome. All of my plants love it. And I think you can, I get it at Canadian Tire, I live in Canada, um, but I think it's pretty widely available. Um, if not, I always have most of the things that I use linked down below, but um, I'm just gonna do my usual mixture because I already know how much I need. I think this is about two liters, this container, and then I put, what do I put, an eighth, an eighth, yes, an eighth of a teaspoon. So you only need a little bit. And then I'm just gonna use whatever leftover water to water my other plants that are thirsty. Okay, so now it's time to put it all together. So I'm going to put our little guy in. Okay. And then going to add our water and it's supposed to be up to about a third I don't know how I'm gonna no Okay, I think we're good. I think that's about a third of the way full. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the setup. And from the side, it just looks like a cute little pot. It's hard to see because the window. I know the lighting is not great. Okay, so we'll see what happens with that. Oh my gosh, look at Cadence. Uh, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm really curious to see what happens if this plant makes a comeback i will be kind of surprised to be honest but i will be so happy um so we shall see let me know what you guys think do you guys think that my plant is going to make it do you have any other suggestions um yeah let me know what you think down below love to chat with you as always i go through my comments and respond to you guys every morning i hope it goes well so that i can transition other plants to leca because there are a lot of things that are appealing about it to me i really like that leca is reusable you just sanitize it i think you can boil it and then reuse it for different plants so that's really cool and i hear that you get less pests which is very attractive to me right now um me with my forever spider mite problems <laughs> all right guys that's gonna be it for today's video don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are not and i will see you in the next one okay bye